In Singapore, a type of FGM called Sunna is still legal. Could British kids end up there? I'm calling some clinics to find out, pretending I've got my own daughter. Hello, I'm calling from the UK. Um, I was wondering if yes. you provide Sunna to girls? Uh, to girls, yes, we do. Okay. And mm -hmm. my daughter's British, is that alright? Yeah, it's alright. So after just one call, I found a clinic that'll do it. And it says it doesn't matter that I'm British. A second clinic even gives me a price. Okay, the cost will be just, uh, $25. That's just £17. But it's the third clinic that makes me really angry. It says it can remove most of my daughter's genitals. We can. It, it, it's possible. We can do so. But you need to come down to see the doctor. We can't spoke over the phone. That's really shocked me. I've called six clinics. Three of them say they'll do it. The woman didn't seem like she cared at all about where I'm from, who I was, what I wanted. She didn't even seem to care that I was British. Yeah. But I'm not the only one shocked by our calls. The NSPCC wants us to call the police. I think it's really worrying. What I heard was a very serious child protection concern against the law for any child to be taken out of the UK to have the FGM carried out abroad. So that's information really that we would want to be sharing with the Met Police for them to share with law enforcement internationally.